Yeah. Alright, old Brig. Found this two quid. First buy of the day. Think. Fucking shit, shit, shit. Now I've got to carry this cunt around with me. I need a bag. These pumas here, look. 20 beans. Mental. We've decided. We're gonna go uh, dumpster diving. Get some more glass bottles. 50 for all of the shoes, and the shirt, snap some meat, seven, shirt. <laughs> Star Wars Clone Wars, tenor. Extra extra lies, 9.99. Look, mate, if we, um, how much is it? 99p, they go for 9.99 all day on eBay, don't they? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a search of this up. So, my little shoes, they're written aft, and there's no fucking price on them. I'll grow you up. <sighs> See what this cunt's looking at. Very nice. Good oh, See these here. Look at these here. I found five bids and 19 quid. So you think absolute bargain if you pay 25 quid for these. It means you'll lose six pounds. <laughs> Always check everything. Right. Okay. Right, it's not looking it's not looking good so far. We're in like three places and I've got literally one fucking hey, listen, thing. You've got one thing, I've got nothing apart from this bad boy diet coat. Yeah, well. That's a new charity shop. <clears throat> oh, we've got that's just a book shop, isn't it? But our books are much better. <laughs> Barcelona jacket. Six quid, there's no way that's a real like authentic team or anything, I don't even know what that badge is, it's not even Barcelona is it? It's not the Barcelona football badge, no, no that's what I mean. Like, uh, Bangladesh one. Yes, yeah. wonder what this is. It says Frostbite on it. 450. That brig was an absolute waste of time. So, um, we'll come to Ashby now, see what we've got up here. Hopefully, not fucking wasting any more time getting shit. Yeah, accept car payments. Fucking better do. Can't end me sausage. Bong, bong, bong. These ashtrays here, look. Ten of them. How much are they? Twenty beans. Well, what is this then? A tenner. Massaging back cushion. Fucking coffee grinder. Twenty quid. Fucking shit. Then you've got a stainless steel blender and grinder for three quid. So Lowe's better condition than that other one. So we just got some trolls and these, what they call like thimble things, some all three thimble plushes together as well. So we've got three things so far today. It's not great, but it is what it is. Here she is, look. Big Jess has come to join the team. What have you been buying, Jess? No oh my God. Right, we're tag, we're tag teaming now with Big Jesse. Um, still got a bit of time before we pick the kids up, so we're going to town centre, have a gander what's there. So far we've got three things, yeah, so it's not looking great, but we'll see when we get there. Please, please. Oh, it started raining, she's ready for it. Are you ready for it, Jess? 
Let's go have a look. Is this big Hello Kitty? Sold. For fuck's sake. King Robot Wars. Seven quid those. Check it out, see if it's worth it. That Robot Wars board game literally sells for like a tenner. So for seven quid, it was not fucking worth getting. And that Hello Kitty thing. That looked good, that. It was only a tenner as well for that massive plushie. You would have easily sold that for more. But I don't understand if it's sold, but why the fuck is it still in the window then? Get it out there. <laughs> if we don't find anything in this next shot, we're just going to rob him. We'll have to go in like this. Oh, just fucking give me all your toys, yeah? We want to take all your toys, mate. <laughs> them little figures here that look like them little pet shop toys. But they're obviously not. Fake as fuck. Right, we've got back home. I've just spent the past whatever couple of hours listing some order stuff uh, the stuff we've got today and just some other old stuff that we've got that I still need to get listed as well so today really I mean it's a good day we had fun do you know what I mean oh yeah we, we never did the challenge that I was on about in yesterday's video uh, we are going to do that but it was just one of those today we just decided let's just leave it for today let's just go out hit the charity shop see what we can pick up um it wasn't a great day only got like three things but it's better than nothing so it is what it is like i said i enjoy it anyway i enjoy just going out hunting around the charity shops having a laugh do you know what i mean go get some food with kaji um so it's all good do you know what i mean we have fun and that's what it's about but there's definitely some truth to this whole algorithm malarkey with like listing every day because we've had six sales today which is all right they're not, they're not like massive sales um but they're all sales. So obviously it is helping. Now I'm like consistently listing like five, six things every day. We're getting, we're like today I've had six sales. So, and obviously I've only started doing that you know, over the past, like yesterday, the day before where I've been putting five, six things up every day. So it's obviously, it does work. So I need to consistently keep doing that every day if I want to get the big sales in. The sales that we have had are, there was two more of them glass bottles that went they only went for like a couple of quid each but there was all free so who cares get some gone and then i think if it gets a bit to the point where none of the other glass bottles are selling i'll just bundle all them up together and see if someone will buy the lot off me if not then i'll just chuck them in the bin who cares it was all free stuff the what else do we have a marvel uh yeah imagine next spider-man play set i'm not going to dig that out because it is literally down there in that massive box and it's got like five five other boxes stacked on top of it so i'm not getting that out but that went for 9.99 um again like i say it's not a massive sale but it's decent we got i think one seconder this is how annoying this is that i have to do this to get through we sold this which was in the big we paid 20 pound for that big bundle of toys and stuff ages ago Obviously, all the toys out of that, we've made loads of money back off it with the big blue figure, uh, that blue dinosaur, um, the King Kong figure, loads of other little bits of it's gone. So we're well in profit with all that. So we let this go for $9.99, just because, why not? Someone had it on watch and I sent them an offer for $9.99, they accept it, gets it out. It is what it is. Again, not a massive sale, but it's a sale. What else was there that went? It was a, a little plushie. I can't remember what it is now. I ain't got a clue, but there was a plushie. And it was, a, it was like a fiver, I think it went for. But the best one of today was the three thimbles. Mental. But literally, I put them on, and I'm in like an hour, they went straight away. So I only listed them for 15 quid, because we're well, 14 99 because all the other solds on them was literally for like 14 99 So, well, there was only like three other solds anyway. And it was all 14 99 so I just thought I'd just list them at that. Within an hour, boom, gone, sold. No offers, nothing. Someone just swiped them up straight away. So that makes me think, should I put them on for a bit more? Maybe. Maybe not. They might not have sold. But they went like that, boom. And normally, if someone goes that quick, then normally you should have probably charged them a bit more. But it is what it is. Say so that's like literally paid a fiver for these a few hours ago. And now they've gone to after fees and stuff. And then you take the expense of buying these out. Probably like seven quid profit in a few hours. It's, in, it's all right. It's a quick little flip in it. But that's it, really. Six sales, sourced three things. 
We've still got some more stuff we need to do. Oh, Jess has had a sale on Vinted as well, another top. Jess, can you hear me? How much is that top you sold on Vinted today? All oh, right, a quid. It's not even worth fucking shipping out. It'll cost us a quid on the fucking, the, the what is it? The shipping bag, pretty much. But hey, here's what it is. Gets rid of some of these clothes, doesn't it? She's letting her uh, vintage money pile up. So I'm going to use it all. So this is what you don't know, mate. When that vintage money piles up, I'm going to spend it all on more stock from my eBay. <laughs> but yeah, can't think what else. That's about it, I reckon. Six sales. In, well, seven including Jesse's vintage one for a quid. Um, three items sourced and listed. Plan L of attack for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, Friday. It's good Friday, obviously. So there's not really going to be much places open. Charity shops and stuff like that. Probably just chill out, have a day with the kids and stuff. And then over the weekend, I don't know what the plan is going to be either. Because it is, it's Jesse's birthday on Sunday. And obviously it's Easter day as well. Maybe Saturday. We'll see what happens if I can get to a car boot, maybe do that. I know Bank Holiday Monday, there is a car boot on Bank Holiday Monday close to us as well at Slate House. But I don't know if it's going to be worth going with it being a bank holiday. I ain't got a clue. We'll have to have a think about it. But potentially, that could be so much as well. So, probably see you on Saturday. Enjoy your, enjoy your Bank Holiday Friday, guys. We're out. <laughs>